Welcome to episode one of the, a brand new series on this YouTube channel. Now, this uh, series is for NHL 22, the PS5 version. Now, this video was pre-recorded, -record, uh, but has now started adding some commentary to it. Uh, as you can see, the game is just loading at the moment. Um, now. I did start this, this is the trial version at the moment, um, but by the time this video goes up on YouTube it will be the full version. As you can see we've started a franchise mode with the Calgary Flames based in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Uh, as you can see there's a fair few bits added to the uh, franchise mode, you've got the draft board, you've got everything you'd expect from NHL 22. I haven't played it in a few years so I'm just, I had to get used to finding my way around the new system but uh, I'll get there eventually, Scotiabank Saddle Dome, that's where we'll be playing in uh, Alberta, we do actually play the first game in this episode. So look out for that, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're just going across the uh, menus just to look at what's available and look at owner. We look at owner goals later as well before we start the game. You see all the options there. Not much to say in this early part of the video. It's all pretty self explanatory. So there you go, we're playing against the Edmonton Oilers in the Canadian Derby in this competition. And it's also an Alberta Derby as well. Just checking some options here. And just saving a few presets. Just a reminder ladies and gentlemen, this is on the PS5, it's also on an expanded SSD as well. Because it's, uh, it's on an M.2 SSD that, that increases the uh, storage. So here we go, the Calgary Flames against the Edmonton Oilers. Lindholm. Keith. Good Chuck. And they decide to start fighting and uh, Good Chuck gets five minutes along with the uh, Edmonton's number two also gets Keith gets five minutes as well. The penalty. The penalties are actually in real time. The the uh, so it did actually take five minutes for this penalty to end. Hence. even though the game clock is ticking down a little bit faster. Uh, 
Fraser trying to win the face off. Blocked. Kemp. Can't see it. And um, Coleman. Yeah, the penalties are actually in real time, ladies and gentlemen. So it's still a minute and uh, ten on the penalty. They see it five on three. Will we get a short handed goal as? Uh, Byron Fraser scores his first goal of the pre-season after 14 Byron minutes of the period. The Calgary Flames lead 1-0. And the Flames lead 1-0. Despite being down on a power play. Chances here for Calgar um, Edmonton to get back into this game. Newton Hopkins. Velensky brings it away. And Scott and shoots, but well saved by Rodrigue. Rodrigue. Newton Hopkins. Simone that was with the efforts. David, good effort. Parsons with the save. Edmonton were unlucky in this period how they didn't score in the uh, power play because the computer's not that bad at shooting I've left it at 50 so it should be able to hit the target once or twice but good say good sage by Parsons keep Calgary in front
You can see that the Samsung SSD built into this system, uh, sorry, put into this system, uh, is as quick as the PS5. There's no lag. There's no PS5 itself. There's no lag or anything. So it just runs smoothly. That was offside. We'll have a face off. Lindholm. For some reason, I keep losing face-offs. I will uh, have to improve that side of things. Mangiapane scores. It's um. Andrew Mangiapane gets his first of the season. The number 88. After 10 minutes and 31 seconds in the second period. Unassisted. So in the first period correction. <laughs> to real to Calgary, Edmonton have to find an answer somewhere or another. And they find it with two periods to go. We approach the end of the first period. The one last chance for Edmonton, not quite, as uh, the Flames take a 2 0 lead at the end of the first period. So, into the second period we go, no wasting time, we'll get on with the second period. Kirk. Lucky. Good chuck. Careful not to be caught for fighting. We've already been caught once for that during this uh, contest. Hopkins, Lindholm, Nugent Hopkins brings it back for Edmonton. Good, good save by Parsons again. 
Doesn't cover up the puck. It's Sam Velinsky. And the goalie covers up the puck. Face off time again. Good. Garwin wins it. Really up in the. Really close to the offensive zone. Very unlucky not to keep hold of the puck and possibly have a shot there. <coughs> Excuse me. Ten minutes and ten seconds left in the second period. Eight fifty one left in the second period. These are accelerated periods, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, period length is three minutes. Excluding power plays. That was set. Uh, Elias Lindholm with his first of the season. And Calgary leads by three goals to nil and are guaranteed to win their first. Contest of the season are almost guaranteed. Sorry, Assisted by Mandy Pony, I think that was. Assisted by number 88, Andrew Mandy Pony. Kachuk again, good effort. Fifty one seconds to go in the second period. Six, five, just one goal in the second period so far. Not much action to report. But Calgary now lead by three goals to nil as we head into the third period. There you can see the crowd. I have to say the graphics look good on this version. As you would expect. Goalie keep covering up for. 
Not much to say about the second half. Probably the usual both teams uh, sucking it out to try and get chances. We ran a few but haven't been able to take them. Is that a rub? Good save by Rodrigue. Seven seconds left in the game. Uh, not much um, further to mention. Notice the last minute is always in real time as well. Change that. I can. 
See? There was actually a final goal. I don't know who got it, but Andy Velinsky got the final goal of the game. And here he is, snapshot, and the goaltender was nowhere near it. And uh, what a nice end to this game. That was 22.9 seconds to go. side warning given so that's why we didn't move anywhere the game still continues 12 seconds to go and that brings to an end this first game the Calgary Flames will win it by four goals to nil after three periods now just before this video ends I will just point out how I'm going to do this series uh, when the actual get you'll be seeing this when the actual game has come out on the uh, when the X Factor edition of the game has come out on the 12th uh, we'll, uh, we'll be doing a maximum of two to three games per episode because I'll be using this application to um, edit everything and put everything up so episodes will be reasonably short and so on but the next episode is gonna feature a game against I think it's uh, Vancouver but we'll find out shortly but that's gonna bring this episode to an end ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for your support and thanks for watching